Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Splatoon 3. Now that we've reached the future Utopia Island in... I can't remember what this place is actually called anymore, which is sad. But we no longer have uh, upgraded Hero Suit, which we now don't have to upgrade again. Which is a shame because it was so good before. We also don't have any power eggs anymore, which means that we have to go get some more. And there is group everywhere. This area is covered in goop. I also love the overworld in this. And as there are no secrets to find in the levels, there are secrets to find outside of the levels. But we'll get to that. Proceed with caution, Agent 3. Get to know Alternia. Alterna. Your only choice. Show off your skills and reach the goal. So this story mode is a lot more like the Octo expansion in Splatoon 2, where instead of going through full levels, or sometimes it's full levels, but sometimes it's just a challenge. Which is really cool, and sometimes you also have different weapons to use. But you don't have to use, like, every weapon, so it's good. Do you hear something? Activated. System check. Okay. Authentication. All rights normal. Nominal. Commu committing bio... <sighs> Biometric scan. Scan complete. No matches found. Commencing registration sequence. Bzz, bzz, beep, beep. Good day, my name is Orca. I am what you might call a navigation system for Alterna citizens. Whoa, where's that voice coming from? Welcome to Alterna, citizen. Please enter your, your identification to proceed. Uh, it's like setting up a phone for the first time. I guess, I, I guess just follow the instructions, Agent 3. Processing, 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 ding! Your name has been accepted. Thank you for registering, Agent 3. Cool, looks like it's official, Agent 3. My circuits are designed to measure your intellectual and physical prowess, and de as demonstrated by your ability to complete missions throughout Alterna. How do I keep getting that wrong? In each mission, you must reach a goal, mechanism, or complete an objective. Extraordinary citizens, you will complete many missions and receive many power eggs. You can expect a, su a substantial power egg payday, in particular, for this first mission. May your enthusiasm result in success, citizen. Is all of that going to be on the test? Because I, all I really heard was power eggs. That seems like the important part. We'll need plenty of those if we're going to find Gramps. One last thing. As you complete missions and become um, an ever more exceptional citizen, you will naturally gain increased access to the Alterna Log. Do not attempt to share the Alterna Log without permission. Please handle the information with care and please consider that this a threat. Have a nice day. Alterna Log, huh? Well, that's something we've been... We, something's been added to your menu. I want a peek. Ah, uh, but I won't. I guess all we can do for now is collect power eggs and work on removing that fuzzy ooze. I mean, all you can do, Agent 3. Equipment in initializing. Please select a weapon for this mission. So, let's take our hero gear with us. Which is what we have to upgrade, basically. Sometimes we just get different weapons that don't get upgrades. I, I think. The mission will begin as soon as you pass through that gate. If power eggs are required, you, you are, you'll be given an opportunity to make your payment before entering. Initializing complete. Data harvesting and analysis commencing. Best of luck, Agent 3. So that's it then. Great. Come on, Agent 3, let's get moving. So like the Octo Expansion, we get to select a weapon, and we need to go through these gates, which sometimes will have a fee. Which at the moment is no fee, so we don't have to worry about that. Which is good because we have no power rigs. But let's go. Alright, I'll turn now. Let's see what we've got. We can go on this rail, which is a ride rail, which means we can actually grind on it. Press B to jump while you're on a ride, riding the rail. Nice, you made it. I spy three volts and uh, three keys straight ahead of you. So this area is a bit of an area showing stuff that you sh should know from other games. Don't sweat it, Agent 3. Just use your small fry. Doesn't look like a simple jump. We'll get you there. So basically everything here is just showing you how everything works in the world. 
like balloons, rails, different kinds of rails, the way they activate the rails, the fans, uh, the gushes, ev everything basically. Also, you cannot come back, please. Thank you. Have to wait for this to come back. Should have waited to get on top of it first. I almost missed it again. Oh, I love the feeling of the wind in my tentacles. That's the first key. key keep going. There's also lots of fish eggs to collect as we go around. There's a squeegee. I think if we hit this, that'll push that out. So let's go up here. It goes back in over time, though, so we need to be careful. There's also a box that I want. Squeegee, they wash any ink you find. So we need to try and avoid the squeegees if possible. Let's grab this key and jump down. Get some more fish eggs. Just one more to go. Ah, uh, but first let me go over here and use these bounce pad things here to bounce up to get some more fish eggs. Also, this is a new addition which I really like. If we hit this, it just rolls, getting anything in its path, just like that. It's really cool. It's so cool. It's a new addition and it's really cool. Dual ride rails. You can hop back and forth on those, you know. Tilt the stick uh, and then jump with B. So we can kind of dive like that to get those fish eggs. Make sure you do it in the right order, though. Otherwise, you won't get them. Got these things that we need to activate. They'll unroll and re-roll. They also do damage if they are in front of something. Over here, though, we have a special, the Trizooka. So let's activate that and sh shoot everything. And activate that so we can get across. We can also pick this up again if we want to. Which I might. Okay. That was smart. Nice work, Agent 3. Let's grab these fish eggs. Make sure not to miss them. It's very easy if you don't realize those are spawning in after every key to miss those. Great. Can't stop you for swim form. If you're in your swim form. That makes a lot more sense to call it your swim form. Considering there are octolings and inklings. First vault. Second vault. And third vault. That's everything we need to do. We just need to activate this. And go. Which we can activate with our sub weapon instantly. So, mission complete. We also get an extra bit of fish eggs for having a sub weapon fully charged. No, no, the special fully charged. Or possibly it's just because I had the tin. Which is good, but I don't know. I don't know if it's just recharged or not. That matters. But anyway. Get some more fish eggs, which means we can clear up a bit. But what I want to do first is actually, uh... Not go into a level, basically. Did you know you can jump into any previous kettles directly from the menu? Wow, really? Like... Directly? I don't know. Doesn't this view just make you want to snowboard? Not really. There's also a view over here that we can use, which I think I used before. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, let me also just quickly check the archive. Because there's the uh, alternate logs. And also the sunken scrolls, which we do not have any of, so... Analyzing the fall of humanity. Interesting. I guess as we do more levels in each area, this is actually going to unlock more. Quite possibly. That's interesting. Or maybe we have to clear up all the interference. I don't know. I guess I'll find out. But anyway, let's open that up. Cool. Also want to have the little buddy find secrets for us. There's a lot of these secrets that are just in the overworld that will give us sea scrolls, but also sometimes fish eggs, which allows us to get more secrets. Here's our first scroll, which is the third scroll. Visit a sparkling city of chaos, the hottest place in the Splatlands. Anarchy Avenue, walk it, feel it, live it. Special Collection, walk on the Splatsville walk, page 54. Cool. We also get to rotate that, which is interesting. Uh, but let's activate that. We also get a upgrade point, which is good, but we don't have a thing for it yet. Now let's see what I can do without going to another level. Because this is something you probably want to do, just so you can kind of level up your gun a little bit more, or just anything in general. I think there's a secret here, so let's bring in a small fry. Secret? No secret? I thought there was a secret there. Guess I might be wrong. Unless you have to find that later, possibly. There might be stuff that unlocks over time. There's another level. Oh, there's a secret back here. Let's grab that. Sometimes you can see them, sometimes you can't. We've got our decoration. Very nice. Oh, hey. Balloon. Let's pop that. We actually have a several up, like, 
se several points already. But we can't use them right now, unfortunately. Let's activate that, though. Proceed with caution. Yes, I know. We could also hit this balloon, which we need to hit more balloons. But unfortunately, we can't get them all because it goes out of distance for us to actually hit. Grab some more fish eggs, and let's keep moving this way. Carefully. I'm going to try and not activate too many things all at once here. Okay. Let's check this. can see a few markers on the ground that we want to get. Keep going back here. I'm going to leave that for the moment. There could be stuff underneath the group, but I'm going to leave it for the moment. Just to find out how many fish eggs I have. Second sea scroll. Long ago, our splat splat splattered lands were almost washed away by a great flood. All was presumed lost until three lights appeared and and united to consume the disaster. Thankfully, th thankful for their salvation, the townsfolk threw a festival with three portable shrines as a tribute. Interesting. I wonder if the flood is actually going to come into play with the story here. I guess I don't really know, so... Let's hit that, though. Some fish eggs. I'm going to have to go get it. How much is it? It's 100. Cool, it cleans up itself. Ah, uh, but now, let's keep going this way. It might be worth cleaning this up, except it's 500, and I don't have enough eggs for that. There's also a thing over there that I could check. Sardinium. Now we can get an upgrade, or a few upgrades actually, so let's do that. Let's un un unlock access. This is why you want to explore before going to the next levels. After the first level down here, you can get these upgrades straight away. So let's do that, and let's get that. Very nice. So we have now, little buddy has more health, and we also have a special charge up. Now what else can we do? There's, there's so much stuff that we can do before even going to the second level. Uh, I don't think I want to activate those two. I might want to activate this though, except I don't have enough fish eggs again. Little buddy found something. Might be over there. It's a shame. Can't do that right now. Let me check this. Just like that. Got a gold record. The tunes around here will uh, sound a little cooler now. Keep an ear out. So let me check that quickly. Is that... Oh, it actually changes the music. That's actually really cool. Now, do I want to spend my points now? Or stuff. Do I want to spend my fish eggs? I'm not sure. Let me get this here. Okay, 500. There was one that was up there where that was 500 that I could do now. You'll get more fish eggs from doing the regular levels though. But I, I want to see how much I can do without them. So was it this one? I think it was. The other one was 700, I believe. Let's hit that. Okay, there's a secret there. More music. Gold record. Another secret here. More fish eggs. Another 100. Okay, well, we've also reached this level over here. That's good, cool. Now, can I make this jump is my other question that I have. Probably not, but I'm going to try. And the answer is yes. Cool. Let's activate that. Get more fish eggs. Unlock another level. Now, I don't know if I can get the other secrets that are around. What is this much? 800. That's okay. We can also jump to the different levels if we need to now, which is cool. Okay, small fry. Find me secret. Guess there's this one here. But is there another one? Another gold record. Any more secrets? Any more secrets, small fry? Doesn't look like it. But yeah, this just goes to show how much you can do without even going into the second level, I guess. I don't think there's anything else I can really do. Except for like over here, because this is this Oh, this goop right there. I I missed. It's fine. I love to have the music changes like this. I didn't realize that's what it was. Anyway, let's hit this one. It's only 100. I definitely want to clear it all out, but I want... To, yeah, I've already explained this. Let's grab this secret. Which is just another 100 fish eggs, so that cleans itself out. 
Uh, what, how much is that one? It's 800, so we can't get that one for a little while. There's also a big one up there, so... I guess the size of the... Bubbles themselves show how much they're worth. Somewhat. Let's clear up that one. I'm just gonna clear them up randomly now, I think. I think I've got all the secrets I can get early on, so... Uh, I only have 100. Can I hit anything else? Surely there's one more I can hit somewhere. I don't think that one. I might actually have everything. Also, if we go to the map, we can see that it shows up stuff as we explore it. So we might actually be able to find some secrets, possibly, by just exploring. Because they mentioned something about the map showing you where secrets are. So let me see. Maybe it's just the green. Like how it's flashing green. Small fry, just find something. Find it. Do it. Also, we have 10 unlock points. Upgrade points. I love how the little buddy likes to play. I just want to have the map covered up, I guess. Which might just take some time off screen to do. But also, I don't really want to do it off screen. Anyway, it's been a while. Let me go to the second level because it's, it's been a while. I just love the overworld in this game. Octopods at rest tend to flip out. Remain in one piece and reach the goal. That seems good. I also love the loading screen. It looks so cool like this. You get to see all the different areas. Okay, now we get to actually choose a weapon. Which shows us the clear reward and what the weapon has for its sub-weapon as well. Ah, uh, but we're gonna just keep with the hero gear. I might come back and do... The other ones, but I also need to go back and do the other stuff in the other Splatoon games. Splatoon 2 specifically. Well, there's a ton of them. Got these little Octobombers. Which, if we shoot them, actually knock them back, and then they explode with our ink. Which is quite interesting, which means we can actually have a chain reaction of things. Breaking like that. It's quite useful. Okay, we need a key. Which, of course, if we break this crate up there... ...is there. Hey, it's a key, but how do we get up there? I love that there's text for that. Okay. Try and hit all of those. Well, there goes that one. Try and break all these boxes. Evenly if sh Oh boy. Got a bit too close to that. And actually got hit and lost my thing. There's an oversized octopod! It's headed straight for you, but if you knock it back, it's a big explosion. Who wasn't expecting that? Weren't you? I was. There's the key. Let's make our way to the vault. Get some more fish eggs, which is good. Since we're going to need that a lot of those for the overworld. I just think this is... Nope. Okay. No, there's an, another piece of armor around here somewhere. Up ahead. It's going to take a little bit to get to. It's fine. I think it's over here. So let's grab that. We also have a splashdown that we could use. Oh boy! That was not a great move, actually. Don't use splashdown against them. Okay. Let's hit that. Okay, this looks like it's gonna be fun. There we go. That works. And there we go. Mission complete. Man, I love, I love this. It's like a mix of everything, the best parts of Splatoon 1 and 2. And the Octo expansion, obviously. It's just so good. <laughs> this, this is the best. I'm expecting this to be the best Splatoon 3, like the best Splatoon story mode. Okay, how much extra fish eggs we get? 900. Cool. Let me quickly jump up here. And hit this. Remember that was 800. Okay, I saw a secret over here. Let's grab that. Also, I like the... The heads around here. They just look cool. Let's hit that one as well. Even though I probably didn't need that one. Oh, hey! Just a regular reward. Got a decoration. Very nice. Obviously, there's still plenty more to clean up. And there's, like, big patch over here. How much is that worth? 1,400. Wow. 
I also don't think we have to do all the levels in an area. I think we just need to do specific ones to actually get to the next part. Which is interesting. It's 900. 700. I'm gonna jump across here quickly. It's helpful to just unlock them so you can jump around. Is there any worth 100? Surely. Surely there's one worth 100. Nope. Well, so where did I get that from? Is there a secret that I accidentally found? Doubt it, but anyway. Do something. It's more for I do something. No, it doesn't look like I can unlock anything else. I guess we should go to the next level then. This test takes 20 eggs as a fee, so let's go. The strange... Th the, the string's the thing. Reach the goal using the Tri-Stinger. Interesting, different weapon. I think the Tri-Stinger is also a good one. Like a really good one. Let's go. Also, big reward if we get through this. Okay, let's charge up and shoot all those. Although I probably don't need to charge it that much. Oh, cool, if you jump it shoots vertically. That's cool. That's very cool. I actually love this weapon. Oh my goodness, I love this weapon. Probably not as much as the... Blob Lover. But still. Come on. Let me hit you. Let me hit you. This is actually really good. This is actually really cool. I didn't play this level yet, so I'm interested in this. Might just need to shoot these individually. Oh hey, got an extra point because of just painting ground, which is really such so, such a good way to unlock that. Okay. Also, they explode if they hit something like a solid surface before they explode and have something near them. Near them. Also, this place looks absolutely beautiful, I have to say. I'm gonna get those. Thank you. Charge shots make a big mess. Got some armor. Man, I love this. Oh my goodness, I love this. So powerful. I feel so powerful. Don't tell me that was the last of them. Very nice. Yep, there's a launch pad over there. Also, this music is really cool. Everything's so cool about this story mode. Somehow. Get rid of you, and you. And you. You can see that the crosshair has little X's on it when you're aimed at something in range. Which is quite helpful for figuring out how much you need to charge something as well. It's the same is true with other weapons as well that charge up. Well, hang on. Let's hit that. At the right time, when it's going down. Have that explode behind them. That's very cool. Very cool. And that's the end, so let's go. Also, we had... We had curling bombs the whole time and I didn't realize it. I love curling bombs. Well, there we go. That was a good level. And so many fish eggs. 1,410. Well, um... There was one over here, wasn't it, that I wanted to check? I guess. If I was going to check any of them. Let's throw that in there. Clear out this entire area. Let's find some secrets. Grab that. Okay, little buddy, is there any more things to find? Oh, over here. Very nice. Oh, more Sardinium. That means we can do more upgrades. Well, let's get everything we possibly can since we can. 
Also, can we- we can't upgrade doubly, can we? No. We can get the upgrades fairly quickly, apparently. Except it's gonna slow down the further in we get, so. Let's get all these upgrades. Ink tank, ink resist up, and better main weapon. Better hero shot. Also, the archive is updating a little bit. And we can see some of the words now, but not all of them, so we're gonna have to wait a little bit more. Until we've cleared up some more area data. Ooh, secret. Cool. Thank you, little buddy. Very nice. Another sea scroll. Number four. Live wild, live free. We do whatever we want. This town is melt a melting pot. So let's stir things up. I'm tired of folks pretending to be cool. I want to get, get so fired up that I boil over. Anything else, little buddy? Anything at all? Nope, apparently not. We do have an extra 300, though, that we can spend on something, so let's just hit something, I guess. Doesn't matter what. Just clear some area. Uh, now I think I actually skipped a level. I think this is the one that I need to do next, and should have done already. Ah, but I don't have enough of, to enter it. Because it costs 50. Should be fine. This one's free. Splash you on the flip side. Wipe out the- uh, outwit the Octarians. This map looks so cool. Okay, let's do the Kira Gear, which has a try this next to it, which is the recommended. For the level, I guess, so let's go. Let's see how we can go through this. We probably want to use a little buddy as a distraction. Or just tr to try and hit things while we're busy up with other things. Just in general. Where's my little buddy? There we go. We can basically ignore you if our little buddy does his thing. Oh, but I want that though. I hate it when they jump out like that. True. Just gonna keep getting taller pillars, I guess. Can I hit you, please? Thank you. Okay. Just keep going forward. Going into the big room. So let's go in. Try Zuka. Let's try using it. Though I should have probably saved it a little bit. Because there's some tougher stuff in here. Do I- can I- no, it doesn't let me out. Okay. Probably should have saved it for later because there's some- some- Little buddy, why are you doing? There we go. There's some more, a lot more over here in ahead in a second. Take this advantage of time and distraction, just like that. And let's go. Another checkpoint. I think we get our extra lives back at the top of the left of the screen if we reach a checkpoint, possibly. I mean, that's what I'm assuming at this point. But anyway, let's keep going. Hit all this and that. Knocks everything away, which is really cool. Same with over here. Stay alive. We can recover on our ink faster than outside of our ink, so keep that in mind. And if I had my special right now, that'd be great. But I guess not. Well, there we go. Doesn't matter anyway. Moi. Mission complete. No, we don't get an extra special bonus. Okay, cool. Okay. We also seem to only get the eggs for special, like, our uh, first time clear afterwards, after we exit the level. So, first time only. Okay, we have a fair bit of fish eggs. I'm assuming using different weapons gives you more fish eggs as well. Let's just hit with some of these since we can. Any secrets? Apparently not. Oh, there's a secret. Let's grab that. Get a decoration. It's 800. Um, wish I could see things closer to me. 700. I guess I should actually go into another level before I spend all my points, since we need 50 to get into this. What caused the Big Bang? You. Yeah. Oh boy. This one is a special mission. We need to destroy all the targets in one shot. Which means this is a bit of a trick, because you walk into it and think, 
how am I going to hit all of them? Well, there's a target in the middle, which is a balloon. If we can hit that, it'll hit all of them. Just like that. So we can complete the mission in six seconds. See? I know from experience. It's six seconds. <laughs> it's funny. I love calling that. Anyway. Now we have some extra fish eggs to spend. On possibly another level, or hopefully covering more ground with not goop. I wonder if it's actually worth doing the other weapon for this. Immediately. I'm going to try that quickly. Just to find out what happens if I clear it with both weapons. Five lives. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Nope. I'm alive? Okay. It's only if you miss, I guess. Oh, hang on. Why is it not working? There we go. Still did it. Don't get a first time clear, but we do get a clear bonus. You might get a reward for clearing all of the special weapons in different levels, but it might be after all of them are done. Possibly. Or it might just be unlocking more of the... the log. Quite possibly, I don't know. But anyway, I think that is it for now though, so thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time.